Good morning, sweet, sweet people. Today on the vlog, we are talking about how I run my business entirely out of this backpack. Let's get it. Good morning. Strange video angles here, but I want to dive into my bag here and show you what all I use to basically run my entire business out of this one bag. Um, I've got a cool camera up here, and I've got you guys there. So I'm going to be talking here, and you're going to be viewing here. That's not important to this video. So to get started here, this is a brevity jumper backpack. Um, I've been looking for kind of the perfect backpack for what I do for the longest time, and this has been it so far. There's some things I don't like about this bag, but um, I don't know if I'll get into that as much. If you guys want to see a review of this bag, I'd be happy to do it. One thing I will say is Buddy actually chewed off the handle, so I ended up just kind of cutting the handle, the rest of it off that he chewed. Um, Big bummer, I use the handle a lot, obviously. <laughs> so, uh, first and foremost, the most important thing is water. And I use the new Hydrate Spark water bottle. It's the stainless steel version in blue. Basically, this ring right here lights up and it shows me uh, when I need to drink more water. It keeps updated with my app and just, it's a nice way to make sure I'm getting the water that I need. So, first and foremost, with a backpack like this, I, I've wanted a place to put a laptop. It's pretty self-explanatory. Most backpacks of today have this. I have a 13-inch MacBook Pro with touch bar. Um, I'm not really sure what year it is. I bought it used from a guy on Mercari, which is a super awesome buying and selling website, uh, which you can check out. Um, I'll link everything I mentioned down below so you can check it out, everything I talk about, you will be in on it. Up here, uh, I'm currently reading Traction which is a really cool book. As far as I can tell, my friends Sarah and Justin got it for me, I think for my birthday, possibly. Uh, another thing is I've got this Herschel case for my new iPad mini, which uh, I'm thinking of making a video in the future of why I sold my iPad Pro for the iPad mini. I love this thing, and I had the very first iPad mini when it came out, but it got crushed under someone's butt. <laughs> And uh, yeah, but th this is this is huge for me right now, and I'll probably talk about that in a future video. But iPad Mini and books and other little things that I need, I put up here um, in the top sort of portion. There's a little pouch here, and that's where I keep my charger for my MacBook Pro. So I'll put that down, and that's it for the top. It's it's kind of a, a shallow pocket as you can see there, but where the money makers are are actually down below so I'll get into that now so the cool thing is um, I do have this front pocket and maybe I'll start there so I have an SD card reader which is important I have a little power brick in case I need to charge I have this which holds all my SD cards um, I only carry a few on me because I have two 128 gigabytes which are huge so that's nice to have um, I keep a USB-A to USB-C charging cable, just one, that's all I need. And I keep a lightning cable to charge my phone. And that's it for this, this front pouch. So not a lot in there, mostly just charging cords and things like that that I need. One of my favorite things about this backpack is it does have this side access to my Sony A7 III, which I love. I used to have a huge battery pack on the bottom, but it was just really heavy and kind of unnecessary. I thought it would be really nice to have like double the battery, but these batteries last a really long time, especially in what I do. So I've got the A7 III and then I have the Tamron 28 to 75 mil f2.8. And that is my money making camera right there where I shoot all videos and photos for the company. So now we have this pouch, which opens up. I can grab my camera if I need to. I've got a strap for the camera, peak design. If I need it, you'll notice that I have the little peak design fast clips on there, which is just super nice to have. So I do keep that just in case I'm doing anything crazy where I need to have that extra security uh, to make sure that my camera is not going to fall off my, you know, 
fall out of my hands and smack on the ground or off a bridge or whatever. Um, my microphone of choice, just for the quick social media work that I do, is the Rode Video Micro, I believe is what this is called. Yes. Um, it's only failed me once, and that was because the camera, the A6500 that I had before, the A7 III actually, the, the uh, microphone port was a little messed up. So it actually wasn't the microphone. I ended up buying a second one of these, um, which I then gave to Maggie because both of them actually worked. So I love this thing. It's good enough for the work that I do. Now, if I'm shooting like a crazy good quality long form video, I'm probably going to use external microphones, things like that. But in terms of the run and gun social media content that we make, this microphone is perfect. Now I do have a zoom uh, external. This is the H1 handy recorder. They've since updated this. It's, it's a lot better. This is all plastic and kind of crappy in my opinion. But as far as the audio, it gets not too bad and it allows me, sorry, it allows me to put, um, this audio somewhere else if I need to. We also, to be honest, use our cell phones for audio sometimes, uh, which is pretty nice. Let me fix this. Um, the iPhone audio that it picks up is good enough for most social media videos, content, things like that. So just in case you're looking for an external audio source, try your cell phone, put it near the person who's speaking. It's gonna pick up a lot better than a camera that's further away with an onboard mic such as this. Um, now, I do have the Rode uh, Video Go, Video Mic Go, what are they called? Um, this is really cool. This is a game changer. Um, if I am running a, a more professional video for someone, being able to just clip this onto their shirt or their collar or whatever, uh, you can also input a lav mic into this. Um, put one of them on your camera, plug it into the audio. The other one goes on the person. I think I had this backwards. The other one goes on the person. These things are really cool. They're teeny. They didn't cost too much money. Um, I've only used them a handful of times, but when I do, I, I love, absolutely love the results. Um, I do have an external little charger for the battery. Uh, this is a RAV Power. It actually came with two extra batteries, which is what I always look for when looking for a battery charger on Amazon or wherever. Do they come with extra batteries? I keep an Anchor power bank in my bag at all times. I have used this more times than I can tell you. Just keeping this thing charged up and say my phone's dying on a full day video shoot or, sorry my bag went away, uh, or I need battery power, like say I forgot to charge my batteries, you can literally plug this in via you know USB-A to whatever you're charging. Throw it, I usually throw it on the top of the bag here and just let it charge while I'm shooting other things and this thing holds a lot of power. I think it's 10,000 milliamp lens cover, lens cap, and that's it. That is all that I use to run my social media business right there, laid out for you guys to see. Um, that's all I need. So yeah, that's everything. As you can tell, I have cords and things that will charge every sort of uh, object that I have here that needs to be charged, every sort of electronic device. Um, everything fits into my bag. I've got my water. I've got everything I need for a shoot, and usually I just carry this around with me wherever I go. Um, sometimes a client will be like, hey, while you're here for this meeting, can you do this really quick? And I just, I just always have it on me um, when I can. Also, cell phones, iPhones, so good for just run and gun video stuff too. I think a lot of people sort of underestimate the power of how good a video can look with your smartphone. But anyway, that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. As I mentioned a billion times, everything I talked about is linked down below. Um, so you can check it out. Those are affiliate Amazon links. It helps the channel. Um, yeah, that's it. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer about any and all of this gear. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Peace. All the happy days.